Hey, what's going on? Juan here. So some of us have gone through the experience where our home assistant breaks, whether due to a change that we make to the configuration or something happens to the drive and we have to start over. And there's nothing worse than not having a backup of home assistant to make the process of starting over simple. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up automatic backups and send copies of the backups to Google Drive so you can have them in the cloud and quickly recover your home assistant configuration. All right, let's get started. By default, Home Assistant comes with a backup feature that you can use to create partial or full backups of your Home Assistant. You can also create an automation to automatically create backups on a specific date and time. The created backups can also be manually downloaded to your computer to keep a copy in a remote location. But there's one feature that the default backup lacks and is the ability to send copies of the backups to a cloud service. However, there's an add-on created by Stephen Beechen that can automatically create new backups in Home Assistant. It also connects with Google Drive to automatically upload copies of the backups and save them in the cloud. To install the add-on, go to Configurations, Add-ons, Backup and Supervisor, and click on Add-on Store. The add-on we want to install is not available in the official Home Assistant add-ons or the community add-ons. However, we can add the GitHub repo to add the add-on by clicking on the three dots on the top right and then click on Repositories. Enter the following GitHub link and then click on Add. Close the pop-up and if you scroll down, the Home Assistant Google Drive Backup add-on is now available. Click on it and then click on Install. After the installation completes, toggle the option Show in Sidebar to easily access the add-on from the sidebar. Lastly, click on Start to initiate the add-on. Then to access the web interface for the add-on, you can click on Open Web UI, or you can also open it from the sidebar. The next step is to authenticate with Google so the add-on can access your Google Drive and upload the Home Assistant backups. So click on Authenticate with Google Drive and sign in to your Google account. Then click on Continue to allow the add-on to upload the backups to Google Drive. The last thing that you need to do is click on Send Credentials. If you get a blank page with an error message, go back to the previous screen and copy the authentication string. Then go to the add-on web UI and paste the code in the text box below. Click on Save and you're good to go. The add-on has some default settings so it will start syncing with your Google Drive and upload any existing backups that you have in Home Assistant. If you open your Google Drive, you will see a new Home Assistant Backups folder. Open it and it will have the backups uploaded from your Home Assistant. If we go over the add-on interface, we have a section with backup statistics. We can see how many backups we have available in Home Assistant and Google Drive. It also provides information on how much storage we have available both local and the cloud. On top of that, we can see when the last backup was made and when the next one will be. In the middle, we have the available backups in Home Assistant. If you click on one of them, a pop-up comes out where you can see details about the backup. You can see if the backup is present locally in Home Assistant and Google Drive. You also have the option to delete or to never delete the backup from either location. And if you want to save a copy of the backup to your computer, you can click on the download button to download it. Going over the settings, the add-on has several settings that you can configure. You can set up how many backups to keep in Home Assistant and how many to keep in Google Drive. If you have limited storage in your Home Assistant, you can select to delete the backups after they're uploaded to Google Drive. You can also select to delete the oldest backup before creating a new one. The add-on is set up to create new backups every five days by default. However, you can change the frequency depending on how you use your Home Assistant. In addition to that, you can also set up the time when you want the backups to run. If you want the backups to be password protected, you can set up a password here, so it's used for all backups that the add-on creates. If you restore from a password protected backup, Home Assistant will require that you enter the password you set up in here. Below you have the backup name template, which includes a few options by default. For example, if the backup is full or partial backup. Also the date and the time the backup is created. You can change the format if you would like. You can click where it says see here to see the available variables you can use. I personally like the name shorter so I use the variable type along with the text backup and the variable date. The add-on also has enabled by default the option enable stateless notification which shows a notification in the Home Assistant notification panel when there is an issue. There is also a binary sensor for this and another sensor to show the status of the backups. 
These two sensors come handy because you can create automations to send, for example, a notification to your mobile device when there is an issue with the backups. If you want to exclude folders or add-ons from the backups, you can enable partial backups and select which folder or add-on to exclude. Now, if you set up a new add-on, it will be automatically set up to backup. So if you want to exclude a new add-on from the backups, you will need to update the setting. If you're using a theme with your home assistant, you probably notice that the add-on UI doesn't change with the theme. However, here in the settings, you can change the background color and the accent color to match your current theme. The add-on by default checks Home Assistant and Google Drive for backups every hour. However, on the sync interval, you can change how frequent you want the add-on to sync. After you make the changes to the settings, click on Save and the changes will take effect right away. If you want to manually create backups, you can also do it from the add-on. You can click on the plus icon on the bottom right or you can also go to the Actions menu and click on Backup Now. When manually creating a backup from the add-on, you can set a different name for the backup or leave it blank to use the default naming scheme. You can also select to keep the backup indefinitely in Home Assistant or in your Google Drive. This action will only apply to this one manual backup and not affect the settings from the scheduled backups. All right, so we have the Home Assistant Google Drive Backup add-on set up. It's going to start creating backups of Home Assistant automatically and save them in Google Drive. Now, how will we know when the add-on has issues creating backups or uploading them? Well, the add-on automatically shows a persistent notification in the Home Assistant notification panel. However, notifications in that panel can sometimes be easily missed, but because the add-on has a couple of sensors that shows the status of the backups, we can create an automation to send an alert to a mobile device or show a car in Home Assistant when there is an issue. To set up an automation to send a notification to a mobile device, go to Configuration, Automations and Scenes, and click on Add Automation. On the pop-up that comes up, select Start with an empty automation. Set up a name for the automation, then on the triggers, set the trigger type to state. For the entity, search and select binary sensor that backups still, and set the front to off and the two to on. Next, under actions, set the action type to call service. For service, search for notify that mobile app and select the device to send the notification. You can set the message to the following and the title to there is an issue with the backups. Now, if you want to tap on the notification and go straight to the add-on web interface, open the add-on web UI on your browser and copy the path from the address bar. Go back to the automation and under data, enter URL and paste the path for the add-on web interface. If you're using an Android device, you will use click action instead of URL. Save the automation and if you click on run action on the top, you will get a notification on your device. If you click on it, it should take you directly to the Home Assistant Google Drive Backup add-on. If you want to create a card that will show up on your Home Assistant dashboard when there is an issue, you can create a conditional card that will be hidden until there is an issue. On the Overview page, click on the three dots on the top right and click on Edit Dashboard. Then click on Add Card and select the conditional card. Under the Conditions tab, click on Entity, Search for binary sensor that backup stale and select it. Where it says state is equal to, change it to state is not equal to and set the state to off. Next, go to the card tab and select the markdown card. For the title, you can set it to something like backups issue. And under content, you can add the following. If you would like to get more details on the car, like for example, the last time the backup was created and the last time the backup was uploaded, you can add the following. Click on save and then move the card to the top of the first row. So the card always shows at the top if you open Home Assistant on a mobile device. Exit the edit UI and the card will be hidden until an issue happens with the backups. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know what you guys think of this add-on in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and I'll see you in the next video.